Are you happy to see us this morning? You happy? You happy to see us? What do you need? Help with your bike? Okay, come on. We have to get out the sea monsters today. Let's check on them, John. You guys ready to go out? Premier One sent this very special fence. I hope it's game changer. Tighter netting to keep the chicks in. You got the string trimmer, we'll string trim their area just to keep it short since they're so little. Oh, look, they make it smaller and then yeah. bigger. Okay, that's neat. Put that in our repair kit. We got water, we've got feed, we got our monster shop. I'm thinking we're gonna string trim the whole area that this net is gonna cover because this grass, it's not crazy tall, but it would be hard for little chicks to navigate. We've got half of our netting up. That's gonna be enough, I think, to show us where this is gonna be. Now we just drop it and move it over and we'll string trim all in here. We've pulled the chick shawl up so we can string trim where it was. We'll put it back. I'm thinking we're ready for these chicks. Clean up their water. Let's uh, let's put up our net. Laurel, you knocked over the camera, honey. Did she have something? And for a minute, I thought she had the mic cord in her mouth. What do you have in your mouth? <laughs> About to close the gap. We got a little extra here. That's better than. Not enough, you just wrap it around your corner. Wow, I really like this stuff. I think, I'm hopeful for, for this. Look, the tight netting is like 18 inches, I would guess. I don't think they're gonna get through that, not even the little chicks. What do you think, Josiah? I don't think. I think we're keeping them in. This could be a huge game cha changer because I would like to get the chicks as, out as soon as possible. Like day one-ish to a week. And even these guys, how old are they? You got your ground rod in? Yeah. Let's move the meat shawl back. There it goes. Okay. I'm gonna test them. Test it the down where it's connected. I don't know oh. if that lights up. I guess it, it does. It is lit up. It's at 60 and then 80. Ooh, 60 that's and great. Papa, the off. Papa, your cage. You gotta get your cage. I'll carry one. You'll carry a chick? Yeah. Okay. A little one. Papa. Is this the over here? No, but they're cages. Oh. Sorry, can you carry one of these? Yeah. I, I can help you, Papa. Right, you help Josiah. You two get this one, Josiah. Get, get that in, Mr. Brown. Right. Get that in, and I'll get one by myself, okay? All right, let's go. Papa, I was gonna get the mouse. Come on, just get in, let's get them. Free the bird. That's one, Mr. Brown. Hand them out. All right. We got them on one. Look up here. <laughs> What'd you do? Get soaked? That's okay. They'll get back. They'll come back. You can pick them back if you want. So we managed to get them all in one. So. Oh, I need my wheelbarrow. Y'all watch Laurel and the cats at the guineas. I'm gonna go find the wheelbarrow. That was easy. Papa, I need, I need, I need the two. They, they got their heads out. They want that grass, Josiah. You wanna get them on grass for the first time? Papa, I think we are have to get you a light. Josiah, when I move the wheelbarrow, can you kind of hold them on? Hey, I'm gonna turn. Ready? You know you need to hold it on there. You make sure it doesn't fall off the wheelbarrow. There you go. Let's go, go, go. Whoa! Is that good, The kids slow me down a bit, but what's more important work? Getting these chicks out the pasture real quick or working together with the kids? All right. Hey, Laura, come on. I see that. Whoa, whoa. Let's 
lift it up and turn it That's a great idea. You lift that. You lift that fence right there. You know, I'll put the crate under. It depends on. No, it's off. It's off. Okay, go don't ahead. hit the button. <laughs> Don't hit the button, Gideon. Okay, let me go on the other side. I can pull it through easier. Okay, you can lift that. Alright. Turn it to your side a little bit. There you go. Alright, y'all want to come in and yeah. unload? What we want to do is orient them where their water is. So, just kind of take them out and maybe dip their, dip, dip, kind of take them out and dip their beak in the water. Here, come on. Let's get my ship. Just so they know where their water's at. Come on, guys. Look. Already pecking at the grass. I've electrified it. They're staying at bay. Even if it wasn't on, I don't think they could get out. I really like this system. I think it's changing the game for us. Getting ch oh, look. They're gonna stay off that fence. One of them just got buzzed a little bit. Doesn't hurt them, but it definitely says, I better not cross that. Oh, good. Permanent feed. It's me. You guys wanna work on the chick shaw? Yeah. Let's work on the chick shaw. Yesterday, we did our corner braces and our middle braces where we're gonna mount the um, wheels, the wheel axles. This is an addition from uh, the previous model. We didn't even have a a board here that's gonna that's mainly to hold the axle but I think it'll also serve if we put our purchase running this way instead of that way like in the previous model we'll have a little extra support for those perches right here what do you think Jonah so that means we need to run our wire mesh this way you got it let's get it You down here with us? You came down here voluntarily. You're starting to follow us. Hold on, good Justin. We got our we got our wire mesh across. It's a little wobbly in the middle, but that's okay. We're gonna flip it now. Wait, no. We're gonna put our perches on across every foot. That will put one here at the where those two meet. And then we'll flip it and brace it from the bottom and it'll be real secure. Take a time out, let's clean up our tools. And then we'll start doing the rip saw. Jonah, we need to cut six foot pieces and then we'll rip them. We're gonna need one every foot. So five for six foot span. We got our perches, now let's screw them on, okay? Across, this way. That's starting to look like a chick shaw bottle. Just so good to be surrounded by these kids, all of us working together, playing. You two wanna flip it? Let's flip it so we can secure the screen to the bottom of the purchase. You need help, Jonah? No. Yes. I now, need help now it you up. Do this back. You set it down. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Set it. Is Good. this what my okay. chickens will be needing? Now go on? and uh, hammer, hammer into the bottom.
No, no, wait. Step on the boards and get out of there and let's flip it back over. We're gonna flip it back over because this is the bottom. And we need oh, to build our- We're not gonna be able to put the legs on. on top. See, Ooh. the legs. Let's sweep out from underneath there while we're at it. Hey, I think this is a good point to stop and clean up before lunch. New leaf, new leaf before I just stack things right on top of each other, back to back. Didn't leave room for cleaning up, so I'm leaving 10, 15 minutes of time right here to clean up. I was editing and Jonah came and got me said a sea monster was in the creek. I can hear it chirping. How did it get out? Is there more than one, Jonah? Are, are you sure it's in the creek? Oh, I do. I hear something over here. There it is. I found it. How did you get out, little buddy? You'll get eaten by a snake. Hey, Jonah, do you know how it got out? No. Oh, look. We got one. Dead. Can you turn my fence off? Great. Okay, pull it out. Pull it out. I've done this before. How did, wait, let's examine how it got in there. I have no idea. All right, get your thing loose it's and get him out. Okay, can you turn my off? You off? Yeah, I'm off. Yeah, I'm gonna put this guy back in here. Look, I think I know what's happening. Oh wait, there's another one here. I'm not sure if they're going under it. I think this one might have gotten under it right there. You know what let's do, Jonna? Jonna, just uh, leave it off. You know, maybe, maybe if we leave it off, I don't wanna see them die with electrocution. So let's just see if it will hold them in without the electricity till maybe they get trained better to it or become a little bit bigger. Nice haircut, Scott. Oh, thanks. We're gonna show the raspberries and blueberries some love. The kids found some blueberries. They're doing great. It's just that we have weedage. So we're gonna pull weeds and then there, when there, where there's a bunch of weeds like this, we're gonna put cardboard over it and put more mulch on it. I have set my sails on fire and watched my vessel sink. Cause I've seen the shores of every tide, but I still wished I was in your sea. What do you think, Beck? Got any yet? Uh, no, I think the kids got them all. You know, this is not bad for what? Three months ago, we visited this. Yeah. So we visit this one more time. It was well, we picked him up. Three more months. We picked him up at the beginning of April, and we had him for a couple weeks before we got him in the ground. And now it's the end of June. So, so every two months, two and a half months. Yeah. Hey, hold on, Jenna. Let's check on the sea monsters one last time. Uh, while we're heading down there, I've been building this Chickshaw 2.0. Some of you have found it, but I put a link down in the description for the plans. Now, obviously the plans aren't here yet, so that's a waiting list. You'll get notified as soon as the plans come out. And uh, if you're watching this after the fact, that'll be a link to the Chickshaw plans itself. So. Do check that out. Let's go see what's going on with the sea monsters. 
Oh boy. One, two, three. Up, man down. Not too bad, not too bad first day. They're training, they've never seen anything like this in their life. Um, based on the casualty earlier, we're gonna keep this fence off during the day. Turn it on at night to keep any predators out. I don't know, for the next few days, week or so, just until they're maybe big enough to not fit through some of that. I guess they're getting up in between there somehow, going under it. I don't know. We'll see. Still, I'm loving that. That's changing our, that's changing the way we're raising meat chickens. Those chicks are out there so early and just loving life. Oh.